almost there. That's the house, oh my god. <laughs> Few meters to go. And then we did it. Milestone number one. Done. <laughs> Very long time. <laughs> so yeah, we arrived. We are really proud of us. And we're really looking forward to the next weeks just doing some stuff on the bikes, chilling a bit, helping Toby's dad with some things. Oh my god. We did it. Yes, we booked our flight to the US. So we're going from Istanbul to Miami. We're gonna cycle through Turkey a bit before that. And then on the 8th of December, US we're coming. <laughs> driving to a bike shop to get a new, what's it called again? Bottom bracket. New bottom bracket for Toby's bike and then it should be finished. There it is. We are finally done. It only took us one and a half weeks, um, but now the bikes are ready to go. Although we're staying still a while here. <laughs> Uh, so starting at the back, um, I got new tires, um, back and front, and they didn't uh, quite fit with the, um, yeah, with our guitar mudguard. <laughs> so I had to change that, and I had to shorten my mudguard here a bit. You can't really see that. Um, otherwise, I got a new chain. I cleaned everything properly looks like it's new now <laughs> and uh, i got new pedals um not very expensive ones but i hope they're still good <laughs> let's see um then let's go to the front as i said also there a new tire a new mud guard because my old one didn't fit with the new tire so what tires do you have now uh, those are the Continental City Ride, they're called. They're like uh, seven, uh, 47 uh, millimeters yeah. now. And um, a bit stronger, hopefully. And also I got new inner tubes, um, which are like with some slime in it. So when there are small holes, like uh, from the thorns <laughs> that shredded our tires um, yeah they should seal themselves from the inside and i also made some modifications on my bike um, starting off also with new mud guards i have a lot more clearance now as well even though i still have my old uh, mondial marathon tires which i will run down completely especially because we couldn't get really good tires here and then when they're gone and by that time we're hopefully in america then uh, I'll change them to something much better. Well, not much better, but something better. Um, but now, yeah, I already have the clearance on my mud guards. Um, also at the back, a uh, new mud guard. But the major thing I changed or modernized even was uh, my whole uh, drivetrain. So um, initially, I only wanted to change the cassette and the sprocket, uh, the sprockets at the front. Um, but that proved to be a bit more difficult. Um, starting at the front, the problem was uh, for my old uh, Dior LX system, which is very old, um, I couldn't just get the, the sprockets new, so I had to change the whole crank, both sides actually. But then um, they ordered this part, which also took like a week. Um, and because I wanted the one with uh, 24, actually I wanted one with 22, uh, 
teeth at the front, but um, they only had 24, so fair enough, it's okay, it was alright for me. Um, but then it wouldn't fit with my old bottom bracket because it was actually really narrow and the guy at the bike shop actually said it's the narrowest bottom bracket he's ever seen. But now he put on a new bottom bracket. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do that myself because I didn't have the tool to pull it. But now it has a modern standardized bottom bracket and a standardized uh, front crank. So if something were to be in the future, I could change it out much quicker. Um, and then paired with the new cassette, which has a 34 tooth mega ring at the back. So I have a very nice low gear climbing gear now and new chain of course and spent this morning adjusting the front derailleur for the new setup and uh, now everything runs nice and smooth and is clean and beautiful. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I did. So we're back on our bikes, but only for a day trip with no luggage. <laughs> um, again, testing the modifications we made. We already did a small test tour last week, but this time a bit longer. So we're currently in a tiny mountain village called Canalia um, because we spent the night here in the little hotel uh, as we're gonna see the Meteora monasteries today with my dad and his wife and uh, we didn't go here by bicycle but by car yesterday. It's time for an update because we have been here in Artemida for over a month already, which is a very long time. You may be asking yourself, what have we done in the past month? <laughs> we're we are asking are... that ourselves. <laughs> exactly, we're asking <laughs> ourselves the same question. Um, well, the most important thing and the coolest thing uh, definitely this past month was that um, Simone and Henning, two friends from Austria, came to visit us the last week. They actually left uh, a few days ago on Saturday again. Um, back to Austria um, and yeah we just had a really cool time we went uh, to the Meteora monasteries again we did it of course before already with my dad um, I got sick though but yeah, Simone uh, unfortunately brought some uh, bug or something <laughs> probably from from home and she wasn't feeling too good at first and then uh, Lisa got sick and yeah it just it wasn't a nice night was some a bit of bad timing but uh, yeah. That's the way it is sometimes. Um, and yeah, but it was really cool. So um, it was really awesome that they came to visit us. It's just, yeah. it's really nice when friends come along the way. It's just a cool yeah, way of meeting people again, yeah. but without having to stop your journey. Uh, what else did we get up to? Working on our bikes a bit. Uh, editing training, a lot. Editing a lot, training with the puppies, which are somewhere the in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> And that's pretty much been our routine up to now. Driving to the dog school for the last time. We will um, go to Thessaloniki again, uh, but with my dad and his wife. Uh, we will drive up there with the bikes in a trailer so we don't have to cycle that bit which we've already cycled um, and then from Thessaloniki they will go back uh, after the weekend to Artemida and we will keep cycling on to um, Turkey Morning. 
so today is the day we're leaving again, but... It should be a nice morning. But it isn't, because we found out this morning that uh, Kaya, the, <coughs> the female dog that yeah, of my dad that we've been training with so much the last month now and so on, uh, was dead, found dead in the garden. Yeah, they're bringing her to the vet now. For an autopsy, yeah, happened. and uh, wow, that, that's that's really shit. Okay, we are ready to go. After six weeks, this feels like a whole new start, to be honest. And we already said we will. We won't do that long breaks again because it's just too long. You completely get out of rhythm and yeah, out of the flow. Um, so it was nice, but still we're happy to leave again. Yeah, but it's also yeah, not the nicest start with the news about Kaya. Hit in there. Nobody, I don't know. It sounds like the, doc the doctor, the vet, they haven't done the full autopsy, I think, but what they already saw is that the, from the op operation, the wound, everything is fine, and that she most likely died because of a, head injury. a blow to the head, but it's hard to say if it's because she fell or something or ran into mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. or if somebody hit her that's terrible Uh, shopping at this gas station this random fight just broke out like right next to me while I was holding uh, also holding Luisa's bike and they were almost the one guy almost pushed the other guy into Luisa's bike <laughs> strange day today so we found a little pavilion in this town um, and we're just gonna cook something now and then maybe even just set up the tent there later. Now we're gonna head out. It's raining and we're getting ready for a wet ride. Yeah. We found an awesome place to sleep. Maybe you show it first. So, planning on tent there, bikes here. There's the beach. beach. There. <laughs> and um, yeah, I said we found it, but actually we got a tip from a local we met at the supermarket. <laughs> he just um, yeah started talking to us, said he was also a cyclist. And then he told us that there is right at the beach a nice place where we could set up our tent. And that's what we will do. Yeah. And we can dry some of our gear because yeah. it's been raining and it's very, all day. Yeah, it's big here and it's so nice. Yeah. We're very happy. And there are showers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just around the corner. Beach showers, which we can use tomorrow morning. So we're filling up our flask, um, our new flask for the first time now we're gonna make coffee we put some a few spoons of instant coffee inside and now we're gonna uh, yeah put some hot water in it so that's gonna be nice for tomorrow morning yes yeah you can see the sun coming up soon yeah in an hour we're <laughs> still in the tent <laughs> oh, here by the beach but I think we'll have a great sunrise yeah. later yeah. 
And we also have, yeah, what we already told, we have showers here. But it's and so it would cold. be nice to have a shower, but of course the water is cold and the air is cold. just really the most beautiful spot here and now we even with our flask had or have a hot coffee this morning and it's just amazing Curious, I think. Where are we? At a misty river. <laughs> um, we're close to the sea, but it's so foggy that you can't see anything. Ha! Huh, that was funny. Yes, I know. <coughs> we're now heading towards some thermal springs in Lutra Erefteru. Saying that right, <laughs> um, and it's also a tip we got from that guy at the supermarket yesterday. Yeah, just some hot natural springs which are public. But there are definitely other people here. Let's have a look. Wow, everything is like, it's like a ghost town. It's really creepy. Everything is super abandoned and worn down. It's really like a ghost town. And I hear water up ahead. I'm just gonna have a look. It really smells like sulfur though. You can smell the natural springs. Yeah, it looks really cool. I mean, there's some people there, but not too many. Uh, and I think we can get here with the bikes as well, so. Uh, I'll go get Louisa. So this has got to be the best tip we've ever gotten from a local. It's just so awesome and we're actually completely alone now. How do you like it? actually so warm that I had to get out of the water. Ah, so warm. so warm. Well, that was very relaxing, but also uh, we're a bit tired now <laughs> because it was just so warm and the system went down a bit. <laughs> Oh my god, these grapes are so good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try. Wow. And it's getting really dark really early now already. I think it's uh. What time is it? It's not even six, right? I don't think so. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, dinner is served. And we're still just gonna cook some more water. Uh, are those wolves?
last night we heard those strange howls and I like this morning in the night I thought I heard something around our tent and now <laughs> there's these pretty fresh looking uh, paw prints so I read on the internet that there are golden jackals also in Greece and that they tend to also live around human areas maybe it was that what we heard or just something completely different we don't know All right, it's time for our map and for a quick update of uh, what we've done so far and what our plan is uh, to until we reach Turkey. So we started in Thessaloniki and we cycled past these three lakes here, all around here to Kavala. And we are now a bit um, past Kavala. The hot springs uh, were here at Lutua Elithevon. Um, and now we're going to cycle um, somewhere around here uh, through Komotini or close to Komotini and then um, probably down here to uh, Alexandropoli and then cross the border um, here to Turkey. Yeah, okay. Um, so we just pulled up to this abandoned sugar factory. Um, so and it looks pretty cool here. So I think we might just spend the night adjacent to it. So, somewhere right there. Vielleicht waren das aber auch Schafe. Ah, scheiße. Schaf, 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 schaf. Shit. So what just happened was we drove to the other side because we thought oh maybe it's better there because there were some uh, animal tracks here but it's probably just sheep but so we drove through the mud there and now everything is muddy and Luisa's bike is completely muddy but this place is a bit strange because as you can see there's some animal bones here ah, let's see it's maybe too dark that you can see me because I think this is the first time we're leaving that early in the morning that it's still dark. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's actually not that early. 6.20. 6.20, but of course the sun rises only at 7 or so. <laughs> Half an hour, we're meeting Lea and Luki from Biking for More. They're coming from Turkey right now, and we're going to Turkey, so we're kind of crossing paths. And we text it on Instagram, and yeah, decided that we will camp tonight together. I think they planned initially to cycle to the Philippines because they're raising, they're not only cycling, but also raising money for an, a children's orphanage in the Philippines, if I got that right. And um, so their goal was to cycle to the Philippines, but I think the reason why they're also coming towards us back again now is because uh, they had to turn around in Turkey because uh, some countries like Iran and so on um, are still not open. That's actually the reason why we're also going to the US because it was just un too uncertain for us if we could head east or if all the borders would still be closed. Hello. Hi.
Ja dann. So we now set off in different directions. Uh, we're going, I think, the exact same way. Biking for more uh, did yesterday. <laughs> they even recommended us a place to sleep. And we had a nice afternoon. Yeah, when you meet other cyclists, travelers, you have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Very nice view. So we are currently cycling on the Via Ignatia, which is an ancient road um, that was built by the Romans uh, between 146 and 120 BC. And um, it was the first public road built by the Romans um, outside of Italy. We were just uh, stopping at a cafe to get some fresh water and all of a sudden <laughs> another cyclist couple shows up and we talked a bit and they're from Austria, so also speaking German and uh, we're gonna camp together tonight probably. <laughs> Spontaneously. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> so we just got to the campsite or almost got to the campsite, it's actually we expect to, it to be over there of that uh, biking for more recommended to us and now we're waiting for the other couple ah here glaube ich ah da ist jemand ja wow das ist super ja so So today will be our last day in Greece. Um, we are, I don't know, we have 20 kilometers, maybe a bit more to go to the Turkish border. And then we are out of the country. Yes, after more than two months, yeah. it's time for a new country. And, um, and we're not going alone because we met um, another yeah, cyclist couple as we mentioned yesterday. Lucas and Malena. And yeah, it's gonna be cool that we're gonna be traveling together for yeah. a little bit. We'll see how long. So we found a new friend. <laughs> we had to go on the motorway now because there's apparently no other road to Turkey on the, yeah, at least the way we are taking. But it's empty. <laughs> we are in Turkey now. Just heading to the Turkish border. Well, to the border controls. Yes, to, yeah. We just crossed the border, the border and now on the way to the border controls. Yeah. So that means this video is and it's end. Bye-bye. <laughs>